In this video, we're going to take a look at a number of different things to produce the kind of visual you see in front of you right now, which is focused on Berlin. And this example is quite a useful way of understanding things like geometry generator, projections and styles. So what we see is just one layer on top of the open street map layer, which I've already added and it provides a nice focused highlight, but we can still see the surrounding area. We've got a nice circle. So let's look at the workflow for this and then some related things. What I'll do is I'll remove the extent layer I've currently got. It's just a temporary layer. So let's remove that and let's go to the full extent. So the starting point for this, if you want to follow it, is just to start a completely new QGIS project. And then via the browser panel and XYZ tiles, you can just add OpenStreetMap like I have done. And now we're gonna add on top of this, a simple vector layer, which covers the same area as the OpenStreetMap layer. It's really simple. We could just go to vector, research tools and extract layer extent. And that'll give us a layer that covers the same area as the OpenStreetMap layer. So the input layer is OpenStreetMap and you can just do this by hitting run and it will create a temporary layer, but I'll save this in this case as a geo package. If you want to save to a different format, just choose save to file. I'm going to save it to geo package and I'll just stick it in my files folder. I'll just call it world extent. And you can see I've already saved it as that so we'll just overwrite that file okay and when i hit run you'll see what happens it adds a layer on top and that's what we want this is not very exciting yet but now we are going to apply a geometry generator style to this layer so to do that i'll double click on the layer and in layer properties I'm going to go to symbology and we'll change this from a simple fill to geometry generator. So at this stage, it's still on single symbol, but we've chosen geometry generator instead of the standard simple fill. Now, what we're going to do is use a little bit of geometry generator magic here. And let me show you how that works. We could just type it into this box. That's fine. But I'll just click on the expression button and I'll paste my expression in here and then I'll explain what it does. So we have a number of different things going on here, but the important thing, the really important thing is that we're using a number of different functions here. We're using make circle and we're using make point. So make point is making a point at these coordinates. So these big numbers are X and Y coordinates on the earth. That's where we're telling QGIS to make a point. We're telling it to make a circle around that point of 50,000 meters, so 50 kilometers. And that's why these numbers are big because the units of this layer is meters. We are having QGIS sort of smooth the circle, so it's got 500 segments in it. So that's what's happening with a circle and then I'm using difference because that's going to give us a kind of clipping effect and we're also densifying by count which strictly speaking isn't necessary but I like to use that that will just give us probably an even smoother circle but that may not be necessary and in fact if I click on OK and OK we won't see much at this stage but if I zoom right in to where that area is you can see we're sort of back to where we were at the start with Berlin and if I double click and go to geometry generator and take away the densify by count bit and click apply you don't see much difference in the circle but if I undo and undo if I hit apply you may see a tiny difference so I like to use that because it gives me an even smoother circle so we've got the circle and that's great Let's just apply the style that I had at the start. So I'll double click, go to Geometry Generator, and currently we're on Simple Fill. So I'll click that, and 
this time the symbol layer type is going to be shape burst fill. So I'll, I'll use two colors here. First color is going to be a black and the second color is a white. The white I'm going to click on and I'll make it maybe 60% opacity and I'll click OK. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to increase the blur strength. Let's just take it to 10 and hit apply. Now it looks wonky like that. So what we need to do is hit set distance and then we apply that. So this just sets a kind of blur effect at a certain distance. If I take this all the way up to 18, we get a slightly different effect. But I quite like it as it was 10. So I'm going to hit apply. And the good thing about this, it gives us a nice focal point, gives us a nice shadow effect, but with the opacity on the white layer, we can still see the background. Maybe you want to adjust this to 50%. That's fine. So that's quite nice and it's set up well. If you're following this along, you can save your project. Now, what we'd like to do is be able to change the location and we can do that very easily. Just don't worry if when you zoom out really far, this would disappear or it takes a few moments to load. And uh, that's quite common. So I'll zoom in to Berlin, but before we change the location, let's just experiment with the settings and I'll move this over a little bit. So if I double click on world extent, go to symbology and then geometry generator. Understanding the values here is quite important. So there's 50,000, that's a 50 kilometer buffer. So if I go to OK and the measure tool from the center of Berlin to the edge of the circle in Cartesian measurements is about 50 kilometers. Okay, so that's uh, what the 50 is. And because of that, if I change it to 30, and hit apply, you'll see what happens. If I change it to 80 and hit apply, you'll see what happens. So that's the key thing. Let's leave it at 50 and click OK. Now, let's say we want to do this over New York City. How I would do this is typically turn off that layer, zoom to full extent, zoom to New York City, and we'll do this over lower Manhattan and to get the coordinates we need I'm going to right click hit copy coordinate and our map coordinate reference system is WGS84 so I'll copy these coordinates I'll just click it and then I'll double click on the layer and I'll go to geometry generator and then what I would do at this stage actually I'll typically just hit return a couple of times after the geometry generate ex expression and hit dash dash and I'll paste in those coordinates I just copied because putting a dash and a dash in that grays them out and it means that QGS is not reading this as part of the expression but it allows us to just keep them there if we want to reuse them so what I will do now is I'll copy these ones out Control C hit return so, so just to recap, what I'm doing there when the text grown grey, I'm just saving some text in the expression that I can use later. Now let's paste in copy coordinates to here. And I'll click OK and I'll do that. Now sometimes this happens, so you need to go back and check what went wrong. I pasted in the coordinates, but sometimes if I'm right here, I'll need to rearrange them in a different order and then hit apply. And sometimes when you do that, you'll find that you need to investigate a bit further because it doesn't necessarily work straight away. But let me go back into New York City. And here is where we want to troubleshoot what we did wrong. The coordinates are going to be, I guess, maybe I had it right first time. 
there we go I think sometimes what happens is it just takes a moment or two to load up but really as you can see there just a little bit of experimentation when things don't quite go as they should is in order so let me try this again I'll turn this off and this time I'm going to zoom to Auckland in New Zealand and we'll do the same thing again hopefully we get a result more quickly so I'll zoom out a little bit I'll right click just somewhere in Auckland I'll copy the coordinates and I'll turn the layer on I'll double click it and I'll just save these coordinates down here so once again I'm just in a, in a piece of white space in the geometry generator box I'm just typing in dash dash and then pasting these coordinates in and this just means that I've got them saved here if I want to go back to any previous ones so when I paste them in here what should happen is when I click apply yes we get the results straight away so sometimes you will do it right and it doesn't immediately show let's change it to 60 or let's change it to 10,000 and we can zoom in a lot further so a few final things here to see what else we could do well we could add in different layers so let's go to XYZ tiles and one of the great layers available to us in QGS is map tiler basic so I'll put a link in the description for that and I'll drag that below and we have a nice effect on that if we wanted to add in some satellite imagery we could add in some Sentinel-2 satellite data let me just add a layer for 2020 and there's also a link in the description to the video that shows you how to do this let's put the Sentinel-2 data below that so we get a nice sort of focal area of Auckland with that in it and if we go back to OpenStreetMap I'll double click it and this time let's colorize it blue 60% I'll hit apply let's also invert it and hit apply and we get kind of interesting pattern let's do it a bit more colorized perhaps make the contrast a bit different and there we have a kind of blue Auckland okay one last one I'll reset those I'll hit apply where will we go in the world this time let's go all the way to Jakarta in Indonesia I'll zoom in to Jakarta roughly metro area and let's just imagine here that we want a circle around it so I'll right click there copy coordinate I'm going to go to my world extent layer I'll go to geometry generator I'll once again I'll just paste the coordinates down here after a double dash just so that I've got them saved if I want them for future reference I'll paste them in here and again this may take a second to load sometimes it does let me zoom out zoom back in oh I didn't turn it on silly me there we go um, geometry generator let's make this 30,000 meters apply that okay and we'll zoom out a little bit more so that's how we can go from a simple open street map layer then we created a vector layer that covers the whole world and then we just applied a geometry generator style using the expression here which is also in the description and below that geometry generator we applied a shape burst fill that gives us this nice effect and if we wanted to change the background color to like opaque but not white we could just easily do that by changing the values there so a nice spotlight effect that gives us a circle around any location that we're choosing and the background is 
kind of a, a lights off effect. So hopefully you find these various things useful and you'll be able to implement them in your own projects. <laughs>